SGC here, and today's final impression is something new. Hanzoa Naoki, a Japanese drama that aired back in July of this year, and it just ended recently, back in September. So this is a suspense drama with 10 episodes, and Hanzoa Naoki is about Hanzoa Naoki, who works for the Tokyo Cho Bank as the head of the loans division at their Osaka Nishi branch and with 10 episodes there's a first half and second half. The first half puts Naoki as a scapegoat for the 500 million loss that the bank incurred due to the fact that his overbearing branch manager Asano forced him to award a unsecured loan. This is all bank talk pretty much and the first half pretty much talks about how he has to get that 500 million back or else he's gonna lose his job and get kicked out of the banking industry and throughout this there's different cast member that comes in as he gathers more information about this company that they lost money to which is Nishi Osaka Steel Plant and there's the bigger like in the arc of five episodes he discovers like why there was this loss and he discovers that there's this conspiracy and then he deals things and then in the latter half as the story progresses, he gets even a bigger job as the FSA, the Financial Service Audit People, comes in to audit the bank, but at the same time, they actually have lost another 12 billion this time around to another company. And again, this five episodes deals with him trying to figure out why the money was lost. And throughout the entire series, he discovered there's a lot of conspiracy amongst the seniors of the bank and that there's a lot of like just hire officers trying to just secure their spot in the banking system while everyone on the lower end gets the shaft sort of thing. So this casting is pretty interesting. Um, Hanzo Anoki is Sakai Masato. i never seen him anything but after seeing his performance in Hanzo Anoki I totally checked out his previous stuff and he was in Legal High which I'm actually almost done too so I'll do a final impression on that. And Hanzo Anoki done by Sakai Masato I would say throughout this entire series is a very just really strong-willed individual where he really tries to get back at the bank, tries to help the little ones and just not do it for the money but rather just actually help people so their companies are established and they get loans and everyone is happy sort of thing. And then he's supported by his wife played by Yuta Aya who is you know, known for a lot of things if you watch Japanese drama. And there's there's also these two buddies of Hanzo, um, Tamari Shinobu, played by Okiwa Mitsuhiro. He's sort of the really go-to guy, really just hyped up and just like, you know, dude, I'll help you whatever you need, I'll, I'll give you the heads up sort of thing. And there's also Kondo Naosuke, played by Takedo Kenichi, who is the more timid, I where timid foil I guess that uh, Hanzo Anoki plays off and he tries to really build his friend up and then as you get to the higher ups um, it's Owada Akira played by Kagawa Terayuki who's in a lot of different things and there's a lot of different people as well and you have the FSA like crazy really crazy guy Kurosaki Shinichi played by Kataoka Anosuke never seen him in anything but he is one intense dude so yeah, so as I, yeah, this entire series, why did I watch it in the first place was that the fact I heard that it was getting crazy Kanto viewership percentages. I mean, the ratings were off the roof from the get-go. I mean, they got a 19.4% for the first episode, which is relatively high for a first episode, but it just continued to grow as the episodes were aired. Because, I mean, it ends off with episode 10 with a 42.2%. That's like... I never seen that before. Usually, entire episodes range from 10% to maybe 15, and now this series has an average of 29.07% of the Kanto region ratings, and that's pretty crazy. And yeah, I would recommend this series for sure because it's a it's a like a slice of life of how banking exists or how it works in Japan. Though, it, as I'm saying, it's a slice of life. There are exaggerations, and there's also more, like, drama-ish things. Like how Naoki is very forceful and just yells a lot, and he's the main character. And you'll be like, whoa, that guy's kind of, like, uncalled for, as 
he's talking to his boss sort of thing. So there's a, there are times where it's just kind of awkward where he's so heated and everything. But it, it just really pushes the message across that he is sick of being screwed over and he's going to like take things in his own hands and really fix everything and just get back at his bosses. And yeah, so I would totally recommend Hans Van Naoki. It doesn't matter if you don't know about anything about banks. This would be interesting to see. I mean, I learned a bit like about loans and just like what banks needs to do or like stuff like that. Anyway, it was an interesting watch for sure because it's just learning more and just the corruption and just it was fun. I haven't seen a Japanese drama for a while, so it was nice to go back into this one. Hearing that it was such an amazing show, and yeah, I would say it was pretty good up there. Still surprised that so much people rated it that high. That is all for this final impression for Hanzawa Naoki.